Well, there are ways to audition for a movie and ways to audition for a movie. Your way, I guess you insisted upon it, was to hold a bat and take it from there? Well, I, <laughs> I, I told, I, I insisted, I didn't really insist, I said, I think we should go down to the batting cage and, and see if I, I did it for a couple of reasons. One, I knew I could play, but I wanted, the thing that's always bothered me about sports movies is when the, the characters can't really play the game, and I thought it was important that our people play the game. I think Ron Shelton thought it was important, and I felt that if I did it, that he would have the precedent uh, when talking to an actor where the playing ball was in doubt, and he said, look, can you play? And he says, I really want to see you play. They say, forget it. He says, well, Kevin did it. So I really did it for leverage and, and uh, for Ron. And then I thought it was important when you look at this movie that, that, that you believe the guys play. And you drew upon what, what experience? I, well, I played baseball um, all my life, and I you know, played it into high school. And I um, thought about playing it even longer, but I didn't. But when you got down to Durham, yeah. which is the first part of your body that began to go first? The knees? I mean, any problems getting back into it? The, when I put on the, because I play a catcher, that really, it was carrying that extra weight really. Uh, the deep took crouch. It, took its toll, yeah. And when you put the mask on, suddenly the, the ability to see was reduced. And <laughs> there is a scene in which you're talking to Susan Sarandon, holding a bat, mm -hmm. and as if by afterthought, you turn around one-handedly, hit the ball, and then continue to hit the ball while you're talking to her. How many takes did that take? I don't, I don't know. That's, you're going you're to turn me into not being the hero. Everyone thinks I maybe it took like 42. I know it took that guy 42 times to hit that thing. And look, they kept the one time he did it. Uh, I think I probably did it more, more often than not. It's just a matter of what was key there was performance, not whether I hit the ball. But now, but now really, in addition to the authenticity of the film, do you take a secret pride in being able to do that? Yeah. Well, I like the physical part of acting. I always, movies that I admired when I was a kid, I always liked the guys who were physical. I mean, I identified with them, for better or worse. I didn't identify with the intellects. I'm probably not one myself. So I, I like the physical people. Your first line when you come onto the film, I think, is one of the more memorable ones. Do you recall? Uh, the player to be named later. That's a real inside baseball term. And for those who get it, they're going to appreciate it. And for those who don't, the movie allows people in that don't understand baseball mm -hmm. very easily. So it's a Pe great line. People are going to ask, why does your character, after 12 years at least, still continue to kick around the Bush Leagues? Well, I, th I think that's part of why he's heroic to me. It's a guy who doesn't give up his dream. I mean, most people, unless they can have the big apple, they don't, you know, they're going to give it up. You know, unless they have the, the ultimate success. It's, and for Crash, just playing is enough. And he pr it plays the game with a lot of passion. And uh, I find him a refreshing character because of that, that. You know, he doesn't have to be in the big leagues to play. He loves the game so desperately. And why is it every time I see you, you've just come off of an incredible love scene? No way out. Now this. I'm a busy guy, man. Shy kind of guy. Come on, give me a break. Well, I, you know, the best, <laughs> best, the best stories, the best movies usually involve men and women. I think we'll always see yeah. movies that have men and women in it and because uh, they're the most interesting. Uh, we can't figure out how they work. They can't figure out how, how we work. And the only time we're ever good together is when we're together. Yeah. You so know? no real shyness about these things anymore, huh? Well, I, I, they have to work within a movie or I won't do them. I have a certain amount of shyness about it, you know. But uh, to me, if it works in a movie, then I'm not shy because I, I take a security out of knowing that the movie's good that I'm not going to just be hanging out there for nothing. Finally, Kevin, you're passing the ultimate test, not just with the movie viewers out there, but the newsroom ladies that I work with. Those were, gals. Yeah. Any, any words you'd like to say, not to the, to the female fans in the theaters, but to the ladies in the newsrooms who are interested in what you're up to? Any words to them? I just say God bless all the women in the world, and especially those girls who show up on time. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Costner. See Bull Durham. You. See ya. This man knows how to hit. And we're together here in Los Angeles. I'm John Tibbetts for KCTV5.